Hello everybody, I am Dr. Senthil Kamalashekaran, Senior Consultant at Chennai Ortho Clinic and today I am going to talk to you about a very important topic, disc prolapse. Our talk will involve about what is disc prolapse, how you get it, what are the symptoms, how do you treat it and how can we avoid surgery for these problems. What I have in my hand is a model of the spine. The spine consists of 33 vertebrae and within this bony encasing is the spinal cord which is a continuation of your brain. From this spinal cord you get nerves which come out and supply your limbs that is your arms and your legs. If the cushioning matter between the bones called the disc material comes out and presses on the nerves which are coming out from the foramen or the holes from which the spinal nerves come out then the person develops what we call disc pain or sciatica. This is what we call a disc prolapse. People having this disc prolapse present with pain in the low back, pain going down their legs or very rarely if the cord is pressed they can get features of myelopathy which we say numbness in the legs, burning sensation in the legs or they can have numbness in the buttock area or in the thigh area. Now how do people get this problem? Disc prolapse is a disease of the young and middle age group. Poor posture is a big contributing cause. People who are seated for long durations of time with, a, with their backs in a flexed position or a bent position are more susceptible to this kind of problem if their back muscles get weak. More so ever, if you have a job which involves lifting weights and you do not follow the proper precautions and especially in the modern world when people go to the gym and they start lifting heavy weights uh, like the jerks and the liftoffs and if you do not wear adequate protection the chances are there that the disc which is surrounded by a small covering like the rim of a tire called the annulus tears the inside jelly like material comes out and starts pressing on the nerve root. So proper posture is important, proper techniques of lifting is important and sometimes when people sneeze very badly or cough very badly, the intradiscal pressure can also rise a lot and can cause these kind of small tears which can cause the jelly like disc material to press on the nerve. Now how do we treat this problem? So if a person comes to me with this kind of disc problem, then what will I do? I would first investigate the problem make sure the person does not have any other problems like fever or anything which can co which can be relating to the back pain which can be a cause of discitis or something like that we always investigate with higher investigations like an mri to see whether the disc is actually kind of pressing on the nerve whether it is a small disc in the center which is causing pain going on either legs or is it on one side causing pressure on one particular nerve if one or more discs are involved, then the problem can be a little bit more severe. But does all disc problems need intervention? Well, no. Most of the pain, 90% of the people who present with back problems or disc problems can be treated conservatively. By that, I mean by giving them rest, medications, exercise and physiotherapy. There are one particular group of patients who in spite of this do not get adequate relief of their radicular pain. For them we have many injection procedures which will take away the pain in their legs or in their back. These are called epidural procedures and these can take away the back pain. They are very safe and the person usually gets admitted in the same day and they are discharged in the same day. Following this procedure, they have to do a course of physiotherapy to strengthen their back to get back to their regular activity. However, there is a small segment of people who actually deteriorate in spite of having all the conservative therapy. If the pain 
is radicular and they develop numbness and weakness in their legs along with the back pain and the leg pain for them we do a procedure called a discectomy and in that we do a small procedure in which we make a mini incision in the skin at the back and very safely on the microscope the disc material is removed and the pressure on the nerve is relieved following this many of the people can go home the very next day and if they have a good relief of symptoms then they can strengthen their back with physiotherapy and exercise and go back to doing their normal activities i hope this small talk on disc prolapse has given you some kind of awareness on back problems and disc pathology if you like this video please do subscribe and share it many thanks